Let's go over the college football playoff eliminator after week three. If you guys don't know my research driven eliminator, these are the rules. Not every conference is created equal, so different conferences have different criteria. These are the teams that are eliminated from the playoffs. Florida State's lost to Memphis obviously eliminated them. Not only do they look terrible, but they've now fit the criteria. And all these group of five teams are eliminated. Now I know you see someone like Tulane over there and think, well, if they run the table, they could still get in. Yeah, but personally, when I did the research, it would be a very, very rare case if that happened. And the likelihood of them running the table isn't very high, even though they do look like one of the best group of five teams. Here are the teams on the bubble. The ACC and the Big 12, they have to have two losses. And you see very good teams in here like Kansas and West Virginia, a couple of bad beats, and just finding ways to lose. And all the G5 schools over here have to have one loss to be on the bubble. And the bubble just means that they can still technically get in, but things have to play in their way. Other teams have to lose or conferences beat up on each other. Oregon State is on the bubble. They have one loss but with their basically group of five schedule. They will be considered as a group of five team. And finally, these are all the teams that are left in the playoff. Let me know where your team is in the eliminator.